Um, what I wanted to do was um, just pretty much do a full on uh, body stretch. So we're going to start from the feet and work our way up to the shoulders. Okay, trying to hit each little muscle group. And just a nice meditative kind of stretch today. Um, nothing crazy. No crazy movement. So uh, first thing, we're just going to start with our um, little calf warm up. Just warm up the ankles. Okay, so we're going to start at the feet as part of the stretch. Okay, so it's just 10 uh, calf raises facing forward. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead, pigeon toe. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a little duck foot. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dog's coming in to check on me, make sure I'm all right. Oh, buddy. Need a baby. That's my little squishy. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> That's Gaia. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, oh, good dog. She wants to hang out. Dogs all right. know, man. Dogs know. <laughs> uh, Molly, you just joined in. We're just going to be doing kind of a light uh, workout today, light stretching. The uh, reason is I cracked my head yesterday, so I might be a little concussed. Um, nothing crazy. I didn't like gash my head open or anything, but I got a nice little shiner on top. So I'm a little spacey, a little out of it still, but we're going to still give you guys something to do, a little stretch, okay? So we just did some calf raises. Um, one thing I want to do first is we're going to go, like I said, we're going to hit every part of the body. Uh, right now, I want you to drive the ball of your foot into the ground, and I want you to just stretch these toes, okay? We're going to pull, use the floor and pull those toes back, okay? Get a good stretch on the base of the foot. So I like to do this, and then I'll just bend my knee a little bit here, and then really get that stretch. And you can point your toe a little bit. And just you'll feel a little bit on the calf too, a little gastroc, but you kind of spread those toes out. Okay, just hold that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same thing, only we're going to point our toe now and we're going to stretch the top of the foot, and try to touch the front of your ankle to the floor. Okay, and you'll feel that right in your, your tibialis, that uh, front shin muscle. Boom, point your toe and just try to touch your heel to the floor. You can take a little step out. Just stretch that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, follow the foot, drive those toes into the ground. Try to get them to pull all the way back. This is great for our ball kicks, right? We got to learn pull those toes back and get that flexibility. You've seen my dad kicks, his big toe almost touches the top of his foot. <laughs> so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Point the toe, same thing. Try to touch the top of your foot to the floor flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Now just a little stretch as well. I, I curl my toes up like a little ball, curl them up underneath and I just put them onto the floor. And I use that as kind of a base, as a point to uh, roll my ankle out a little bit. So you can go off to the side, you can go this side, but we're just gonna do full circles. So do 10, Roll your ankle out a little bit. You might get a couple cracks. So curl the toes, knuckles down on the floor, and go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Like that stretch, it feels really good on my foot of my shin. Um, so we did kind of the front of the legs, the foot, the ankle. 
We're going to work our way to the back of the calf now. So simple calf stretch on the floor, and you're just driving that heel into the ground, try to get that foot flat, left hand, left foot over the top, and just hold that, push yourself back. The more you arch on the back, the more of the stretch you're going to get. Okay, if you're here, you're not going to feel it as much, but if you put, you know, straighten that leg out and arch up, you're really going to feel that stretch almost all the way to your hamstring. So boom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to take a deeper calf stretch, the soleus stretch. You're just going to pick that heel up off the ground and bend the knee. And you'll feel that kind of more down on your Achilles tendon, okay, so which is another important thing to have flexible, especially martial arts footwork. Another example, ask Pops, worst injury he's ever had. Pop that Achilles. So stretch that out, one, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and switch, left leg, flat foot. Calf, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Uh, so now it's just work up to the knees. It's not really a whole lot of knee stretches you can do, but you can do some kind of um, mobility movements, kind of what we did with the ankle. We're going to do with our knees now. So just hands on your knees and you're going to keep your knees together, kind of squeeze your knees together and you're just going to turn to the side. Boom. You're going to make these circles. So you go bend and you go straight all making these big circles. Okay. And we're just doing a little bit of knee mobility. Okay. Nothing crazy. Nothing fast. Okay. So let's just do 10 one way and the other way. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Oh, let's keep moving up. All right. Uh, quads. Okay. We're gonna work on the quad stretch. Basic one, okay, grab the foot, knee pointed down, hips shoot forward, okay, pull that back. All right, so we're gonna have one, two. Make sure your hip, if you're just pulling here, you're not gonna get the stretch. The hip has to shoot forward. That's when you're gonna get this full stretch, okay? So it's not just here, knee down, hip forward, then pull. Knee down, hip forward, then pull. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go 15 on the legs. 13, 14, 15. See, that's a perfect example. I'm from 10 to 13, and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Here we go. Same thing, knee pointed down, hip forward, then pull up. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. This is a quick quad stretch. Um, we're gonna these, these some of these stretches are gonna hit multiple areas at the same time. Um, let's go up to the back of the leg. All right. So hamstrings. We're gonna get a few different hamstring stretches. Okay. First one. Feet together. Touch the floor. Can't grab your ankles. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Now we're going to keep with the hammies, only we're going to switch where we're stretching now. Now we're going to go wide and we're going to turn. So we go down. We're not going to bend our body this way. All we're going to do is we're going to turn our torso towards that leg. And you'll feel this up more so kind of right under that, under the glute muscle, kind of high up on the hamstring toward the outside. Oh, yeah. So boom, turn your torso there. You'll really feel that stretch. So one, feet stay forward. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take you to the other side. Oh, sorry, we're doing 15, 11, 13. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Nice. Go ahead and take it down to the floor. One more. This would be kind of a growing stretch as well as a hamstring. Okay, hitting that inside. Um, I forget what that's called, actually. I know the IT band's on the outside, but pretty much your groin muscle, okay, your adductors. So here, what I like to do is I force the stretch a little bit. Sometimes you can't really get that split. So I keep this foot down where it is, and this foot will shoot out as I scoop my bottom forward. Notice my left foot moves out, my right foot stays where it is. Boom. And that's just a way to kind of get a little umph on your stretch, kind of force it out a little bit. And then we just hold that there. Cut your elbows to the floor if you can. If not, just crawl out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Take it off to the side. One, two, three. You'll feel this one more on the inside now than the outside. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. Nice. So we hit those hammies. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we did ankles, calves, shins, quads. We're going to hit a few more quad workout. Uh, we're going to get another stretch in, in a second when we work on our hips. Um, so we did hammies. Let's work our way up to everybody's glutes maximus. Okay, so now we're working that the glute muscle. Simple stretch, right leg kicks over the left leg. I'm gonna hug my knee and I'm gonna pull it to my chest. Okay, I'll do it to the side so you can see. Boom, hug your knee and then sit back and pull your knee back with you. Hug it to your chest. You should feel that on the outside right in here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Other side, boom, hug the leg, pull it to your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back to the right. 10, the longest running, 12, 13, 14, and Interesting study by University Center and researchers all of them. Hang on, let me mute you guys real quick. Someone's watching TV. Uh, where are we going? There we go. All right. Um, another glute stretch. Okay, it's kind of similar. Right leg, left leg is knee up. Right leg, what we're going to do, you can even start it from here. Right leg, you're going to kick and put your foot onto your knee, right there. Okay, so you have this nice right angle right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scoop towards your heel to where you can go. And you'll feel it, the stretch slowly start to come on. Okay, and you can go to your, your breaking point. Right? You can touch your butt to your heel, it's pretty good. Go one, and try to fold yourself in half. Try to touch your chest to your shin. Okay, that's the goal. Not just the heel to butt, but you want to compress yourself and try to touch your chest to your shin. Use your arms to push yourself forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Other side, left leg comes over. Sorry, I had a notification on my left up. Oh. Left leg over, right knee up, same thing. Heel to butt, chest to shin. One, left leg's a little tighter today than the right leg for some reason. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Nice. Next one, uh, moving back up. Uh, so we did the glutes now. We're going to go up to the next level, which is our hips. Okay, very, 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 very important for our kicking and our martial arts. If you got stiff hips, you're not going to be able to kick very high, or you're going to take some of your power off too. Okay, so first thing, just a little power squat that we do all the time. Okay, as deep as you can go. Now what I want you to do with your elbows is I want you to think about throwing two outward elbows and I want you to spread open your hips. Okay, just like how you would in a butterfly stretch here. Okay, we're gonna go and push our hips out. So we're just opening up our hips. Okay, so here we go. One, and just hold it there. You can make a fist and make it like a brace. So you don't have to actually use your muscle to hold it. You just use your hands and they kind of press against each other as like a lock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Awesome. Another hip stretch. This is gonna hit the quad a little bit too. Okay, just a hip flexor stretch. Hands on the hip, reaching out. And I want you to think about driving this hip to the floor, okay? You're driving your hip forward. Not so much at this downward angle, but like try to shoot that hip forward, okay? And you're really gonna feel that stretch on that hip flexor. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Keep where you are. You're just going to turn to the side now. I put my hand on my knee and force, not force, but give myself a little help. I'm turning my upper body. What, I'm also going to get a nice stretch in the growing right here. Okay. So we went from here to here in this one movement. Boom. So now you'll feel this growing stretch on this left side. One. Try to turn yourself as far as you can. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Other leg, right leg out. Remember, you don't want to be here. Okay, you're not going to get a full stretch there. Shoot this leg out farther and then embrace it. There it is. And then once you get to here, shoot that hip forward like you would when you're throwing your ball kick, right? That hip comes forward. Boom. It's the same action. Pop. Hip shoot forward. Boom. And now throw your ball kick. Pop. Shoot that hip out. One, two. Oh, I just did this side actually. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15, same thing. Take it out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15. Good stuff. All right, so we've got a little bit of hip mobility. Um, like I said, there's plenty of other stretches to do. I'm just giving you kind of this full body stretch, so you should be feeling pretty good after this class, nice and loose, your whole body. Um, let's work our way up to the core. Okay, I do have a core stretch, unfortunately. Um, I might not be able to do it for too long, so I will show it to you really quick. 
and pretty much what it is, it's just a back bridge. For those of you that know, it's just a little stretch, and you're just going to hold that position right there, if you can. If not, it is kind of hard to stretch the core a little bit. A lot of it is just that full extension of the body. Okay. Um, so you can try that if you want um, after the class. Okay, I'm not going to get into it because being upside down kind of makes me a little woozy. Um, so we have the core stretch, but we can stretch uh, the sides. Okay, and this is the one I like to do for this, stretching those obliques out. As I reach down and I grab my ankle, and I just come all over the top and get that full stretch. But the trick is you're not here. Okay, a lot of this, a lot of these stretches have to do with angles and, and where your positioning is. So here, you're not going to feel that too much. Go ahead and shoot that hip forward. Shoot your hips forward, so you become more on this straight plane. Notice everything is on the same plane now. Now you're really going to feel that in your side, connecting up here to your uh, your hip pointer. So boom, reach out, shoot those hips forward, and almost think like you're doing a back bend. Like you're trying to touch your heel over your head and you just feel that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and you notice a little more of, of that hip rotation of your hips coming out you're going to get more of a stretch the further you push your hips forward other side Hands over the top, same thing, shoot that hip forward, get that full stretch. You're also going to feel this up here in your lap a little bit too, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shoot that hip out, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Nice little so growing stretch. Or, uh, Side stretch, you can do the same thing on the floor. Okay, it's a great stretch down here too. It's just to reach over and try to touch your toes. But staying on, like I said, that same plane, you're gonna feel a good stretch in your sides there. Um, so we did a little bit of core stretch. Let's work our way up, okay? We've all done this, a little lat, it's a lat stretch. Okay, a little bit of a chest and shoulders as well. So it's kind of this whole kind of shoulder girdle area. And it's just basically downward dog. Okay, you guys all know this one. Hands down here, boom. You're gonna reach out as far as you can, and then you're gonna sit back on your heels, okay? I want you to imagine your arms getting pulled out of the socket, okay? So when you're here and you drive back, it helps if you grab onto the carpet or grab onto the chair or the couch, and you just sit back and pull your arms out of the socket. Don't actually do that, but think about that. Uh, action of your arms actually lengthening as you pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Nice. From there, do a little bit of lat. We're going to go to the chest. Same mechanic, okay? Right hand, we're on our heels again. All we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot this arm out, okay? So same thing, hands flat on the ground. I'm sitting back on my heels. I'm gonna shoot this arm out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to touch my shoulder to the floor, boom. So shoulders up, I'm here. I'm just keeping this here as a brace. Slide one hand out and then touch your shoulder to the floor or try to, you'll feel that stretch coming right along your pec right there. Okay, boom, one, two. You can do this on a door frame. You can do this against the wall. Okay, just have your hand there and really try to shoot that shoulder out. Okay, so boom, one, two, three, four. You can play with the angles on this too. Go lat, and the more you go out, the more you're kind of getting this action here. Okay, so one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the other side, slide that hand out, boom, touch your shoulder to the floor. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Okay, same thing. Same mechanics on this one. It's a little bit of a bicep stretch instead. Okay, like I said before, you can do this on a wall, you can do this on the inside of a door frame. Okay, and all it is is just extending that arm and trying to touch the shoulder. Hand positioning is what's going to change. Okay, if I'm flat handed like this, I'm going to get this more of a chest. Okay, if I turn my hand to the side and make a fist and then I stretch, you're going to feel that on the bicep. Okay, so it's the same mechanics, only we're making a fist. Thumbs up, turn it upside down, close it, put that down on the ground. And it's the same mechanic. Shoot your arm out and then touch your shoulder to the floor. You should feel a whole bicep stretch, a little bit of chest too there. But try to focus on extending that arm out. So boom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and other side, reaching out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. I'll turn this to the side so you can just see real quick. On. So this is just the couch right here, the leg of the couch. This would say this is a door frame or something. You just put your arm here and you turn your body. So shoot that shoulder forward and you feel that stretch. If you don't want to do it on the floor, you can use a door frame wall, whatever you need to do. Um, so we did biceps, tricep, uh, we haven't done triceps yet. Uh, so tricep, uh, simple stretch. Go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. Left hand reaches over behind the head, grab the elbow and try to put your elbow behind your head. Okay, obviously don't pop it. Don't be forceful with it. Go nice and slow. So you feel that stretch and you just hold that there. Okay, I'm a little rubbery, but go as far as you can go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Other side. Hand behind, pat on the back. Hand comes over, grab the elbow, pull it back. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. One more. We've all done this. Just bring it right across. Arms actually starting to get a little burn in right now. I can feel it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Stretching out that back of the shoulder. Some tricep. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Awesome. So we're working at the arms. Um, let's go down to, uh, or up to the shoulders even more, more so of the rotation, uh, rotational aspect of the shoulders and not just the lifting motion of the shoulders. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is kind of just a movement, little kind of just a mobility stretch. So we're gonna start on this plane here and all we're gonna do is up and down. But what I want you to do is I want you to go as far as you can don't just go to here where it stops. When you get there, I want you to try to shoot that back as far as you can. Hold it for a second. So it's one, two, and then we're going to do this about five times, okay? So try to push that, stretch that out. Don't just let it stop right there. A little bit further, okay? And you're going to feel it in the back of the, sh the shoulder girdle underneath the scapula, okay? All that's going to get a little workout in right now. So here, it's also a muscular workout as well because you're contracting. So here, and let's just do up first, okay? So here we go. So one, boom, hold it. One, two, three, go down as far as you can. Boom, you can even get a little lean if you want. Try not to, but try to focus mainly on that rotation. One, two, three, four, five, 
go back up, push that back. One, two, three, four, five, back down. One, two, three, four, five. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You should have a nice little burn out. Your shoulder should be having a little burn. Nothing crazy. Um, from there, a uh, nice shoulder stretch that uh, we'll actually we'll keep it with the rotator is hand, okay, back of the hand, going onto the lower back, okay. And all you're going to do is you're going to try to point your elbow towards the screen, forward, boom, and you're really going to feel that. This one is might feel a little pinch. So you got to make sure you're not just throwing it forward. You're going to throw your arm out. So slowly start pointing your arm forward. Looks like a, looks weird. It looks like I have a broken arm. But if you get there and you still don't feel anything, you can use your other hand and just give it a little pull, a little assist. Okay, one. So it looks like this. So now you're working that same rotation against your own body. Pulling that forward. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, back of the hand on the lower back. Point your elbow forward as far as it can go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Okay, last shoulder workout is Put this down so you can see. Oh. Reaching back. We've done this before, and you just kind of sit out forward. Okay. Let gravity do the work here. Don't force it. This is kind of a it's a very um vulnerable position for your shoulder. Okay, because your shoulder doesn't really go that way, right? Goes here, stops, goes here and stops. There's this little area where that's the red zone. Arm doesn't do that. Okay. So we're going to put it in the red zone, but very carefully. Here, sitting out. It's nice and slow. And then you just hang. Let gravity do the work. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Go walk up slowly, okay, because you are in a vulnerable position. Boom. Go ahead, just roll the shoulders out a little bit. Um, so we went legs, worked up the legs, core, uh, bicep, shoulders, okay. We need to hit uh, one of our most important weapons, and I'm actually guilty of this, is my forearms and my wrists uh, could be definitely stronger, okay. So I like to... I'm actually starting to do a lot more forearm and, and wrist exercises because I mean, Kempo, it's our most important weapon is our hands. Okay. We're very, we use our hands a lot, different weapons all coming from the elbow down. All right. So we've done this too. Same thing for boxing. This is why I started doing this stretch because it feels really good. Hands down, palms up, point there, palms down. I'll turn to the side so you can see. Boom, palms, uh, palms up, pointing at the floor. Go ahead and put your palms down, and then all you're going to do is you're going to sit back onto your heels again. Okay? You feel this in your, uh, your wrist flexors here. Forearm. Boom, and sit back. Feel in the wrist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Other side, palm up, down now, pointing down at the floor. We're gonna roll our back of our hands onto the mat so we can wiggle our fingers. And same thing, we're just gonna sit back on our heels. Okay, really getting that stretch on the top of the forearm here. Your extensors, extend sores. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15. Let, let's one go slowly because it is a little uncomfortable when you come out of it. Just roll it out real quick. Um, the beauty of those stretches of the, the hand stretches is you can change the angles, kind of how we did with the calf raises. Each direction works a different part of the muscle. So for here, we can even go halfway, right? We can do this, or sorry, we have to go this way. So, so we can go super extended, we can go semi extended, okay? You can go palms, boom, and you play with the angles. You find the stretches that you have. Okay, so you're just playing with your hands, trying to hit all angles of your forearm. And it's a good conditioning drill, okay? Good conditioning. Um, from there, we could work up to the neck, but I am not going to do that today. <laughs> Very uh, sensitive right now in my head. Um, so that's kind of uh, what I had for you guys today. Once again, 